Hello and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to do a, a spread here called Will He or She Ever Commit? Um, before I begin, I would like to mention that this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with everybody. I'm going to have two different piles, so my A is already out. I have a, D, a B over here. If uh, this does not resonate with you and you would like to have a personal reading, you can reach me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. Uh, for the month of June, the first uh, 10 viewers that contact me uh, for a booking will receive 20% discount. So that being said, if you do enjoy my videos, please show your support by uh, subscribing to my channel, liking and sharing. So let's begin this spread and uh, see what's going on. Will he or she uh, ever come in? Um, now the spread is quite large, so I prepared one. I have one here uh, laid out and I have another one here. So we're going to call this one the A and the other one is going to be the B. So I'm going to let you just wait a little moment, see if you uh, prefer to go uh, jump in the water right away and go with group A. Do you feel better like that or do you prefer to wait a little bit, go with group B? Um, I'm going to let you think about this just a little second. And here we go. So uh, we're going to begin with the first card. The first card is right here in the middle and of course in the middle we have this uh, beautiful little lamb. We have the Ace of Hearts. This card is how does this person truly feel about me? So this person uh, just loves you, just thinks you're the best ever. There's a deep connection, there's joy, there's inner peace, um, there's a lot of abundance. Um, if ever there is plans, perhaps uh, some, perhaps you had thought, I don't know, of um, of having children together or everything right now in this relationship is on the table. Everything is possible. This person just truly loves you. We're going to follow up with card number two, which is right over here on to my left. Card number two is another ace. Over here we have the ace of leaves and this is why they did not commit to me yet. As we can see this cute little porcupine here is looking a little bit sad. He's got a leaf over his head which should be quite heavy for this little porcupine and he's he's hiding himself himself with a leaf. So uh, your partner is a little bit in the same way. Your partner has not committed yet because they have uh, things um, things that are bugging them right now. They would like to concentrate but they're not able to. They have a few uh, issues on their mind which um, is going to be necessary to speak about them to uh, to let the guard go, to let that heavy leaf off of that head. Um, so this is it. They have not committed yet because something is bugging them. Um, so this would be the time to uh, discuss this with them. We're going to follow this up with card number three. Card number three is on the other extreme side on the right. Card number three, we have the tower. The tower is uh, is in a reversed position. This card is their fears about commitment. So the tower itself, um, they're, they're afraid of, like you see here, everything is falling off. Everything is chaotic. This is what they're afraid of. They're afraid that if they commit, Perhaps there will be a downfall. Perhaps there'll be a sudden change. There'll be revelations. Perhaps there'll be an awakening. They will wonder, is the grass greener on the other side? This is what is going on in their head right now. They are afraid of something happening and having to begin again. We're now going to move on to card number four. Card number four being right up here on the above. And we have the uh, Ten of Leaves. The Ten of Leaves here, this card number four is, does this person have a fear of losing me? Yes, they do. Uh, this is all about these little fairies as we can see. They're, they're ill, they're in their little cocoons, they're sad, they're alone. It's like their wings have been chopped. They're trying to recompose themselves. They're trying to make things better, but they 
don't quite know how as they are afraid so your partner is afraid of losing you um, to the point where they they have nightmares about it we're gonna move over now to card number five which is right here below card number five is the strength card uh, card number five pertains to does this person want uh, to see other people the answer is no they love you right now and only you right now and uh, they like to hug you strong just like that uh, big tree there um, but we have to be careful of course we have to communicate we have to be patient because we don't want that tree that we're tugging on and we're holding on so much we don't want it to just rip off and lose its roots okay so no they do not want to see anybody else else but um, we do have to work on the communication issues over here that um, that is bugging your partner which is why they have not committed yet we're now going to move over to card number six which is right over here so card number six we have the five of bells card number six is their feelings about wanting marriage for the future so their feelings about this is um, it's a little bit mixed I would say they do want to they would love to but once again they have these fears these fears these fears these fears they don't seem to be able to let go of these fears they've probably had bad relationships in the past they keep trying to run away a little bit but they, but you know we keep tugging them back and and they would love to have this lovely nest and they'd love to have the idea of a family and children with you and but something I mean the passion is there everything is there but there is this fear so they're not quite there yet they're not quite ready yet um, so to answer your question their feelings about wanting marriage for the future um, yes they do but not right now A following card is going to be card uh, we are up to card number seven so card number seven is right over here card number seven is another ace you have this uh, this little pig here the ace of acorn so the ace of acorn in position seven is the views of living together uh, well this you know this little acorn here and this little pig they're feeling just so charged they're feeling energized uh, they're romantic they're thrilling they're feeling ambition um, ambitious about this um, in this case I'm going to say that actions though are more important than words so you know if they tell you oh yes yes I want to move in together and I want to commit and that's all I want and yes okay but let's move to action okay we're going to move on now to card in position number eight which is right up here above card number eight we have once again the bells we're following the pattern with the little bird here leaving the uh, tugging on to the little boy's pants who's running away here's the other way around we're tugging on to the uh, wings of a butterfly so card number eight is how can I draw them closer to me you can't really they're just gonna try and fly off if you try and tug anymore uh, you just have to try and talk to them you just have to try and be there you have to um, you have to leave them the wings so your relationship can um, can grow can continue you're going to need though with these wings like the little fairies and the butterfly uh, you're going to need some uh, some counsel or some advice is going to be necessary to uh, to continue to seek and growth and development of this beautiful relationship because we have a couple issues over here that we want to solve always following up card number nine all the way up here beautiful card number nine is bells again um, so here we have the six of bells the six of bells in this position is will this person ever commit to me the answer is yes they will um, all they want to do right now is just to you know is to be with you is to love you they would love to just support you in your endeavors coming up um, it's very caring it's a very loving card um, 
they're very generous with you and they will always consider your feelings so this is a yes 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 and we're going to finish us up group number a with da, 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 the night of leaves so the outcome what is this um, what is the outcome for this relationship and will he or she ever commit uh, the answer is yes at some point you're going to need a little bit of patience here they will have gathered all their tools and they will be ready to um, settle down they will have so much love so much respect for you and this is just going to be a beautiful relationship so I hope group A you're happy with uh, your happy ending if you want because I think it really is just a fantastic reading. So uh, to resume here, will he or she ever commit? Yes, they will. Uh, but you're going to have to resolve a couple of issues they have that are bugging them. And other than that, it's pretty much uh, easy going. So group A. B, it is your turn. So we're going to go and we're going to put our cards at the same place. So card number one, we're going to move card number two, card number three is coming over here, card number four, card number five, right over here. And then we're going to have a card number six, card number seven, card number eight, card number nine, and ten. All right, so let's begin for group B. Will he or she ever commit? Okay, as a beginning, we have here the nine of leaves. So uh, same thing that in group A, this is going to be the person. Do How do they truly feel about you? Uh, they have a lot of anxiety, I feel. They have a lot of fear. Um, they're looking closely at what you are, um, how you are, how your relationship is, and they're a little bit worried about this right now. Uh, this is the card of um, of worries, of anguish. Um, in a relationship, of course, something is, is troubling them. Something may be amiss. Um, Perhaps a partner is not quite sure that um, that you are the perfect one for them, um, or perhaps uh, they're not quite sure of your intentions. So there's a lot of uh, questioning here at the beginning of this uh, reading for how this person feels about you. We're going to move over to card number two in this reading right over here, card number two onto my left. And we have all these little fairies are sleeping, 10 of hearts underneath this huge mushroom. This is, why have they not committed to me yet? Well, cards, you know, fairies like this little card here, they want harmony, they want happy unions. Same thing with your partner, they wanna be happy. They want to have a happy union. Right now, there are some troubles in this relationship. This is why they haven't quite committed yet. Um, they want joy. They want emotional content. Um, they want to have harmony. They want their friends. They want their family also to love you. Moving over to card number three. Card number three here is this young lad. So we have the knave of leaves this time. Uh, this card is uh, their fears about the commitment. Well, they're just not ready yet. Uh, this, you know, he's he's still on a journey. They still want to go. There's still a little bit of foolishness. Um, they haven't uh, they haven't committed yet because um, you know they symbolize a, a lot of curiosity a lot of interrogation they ask themselves a lot of questions uh, they're always wondering may I get to an even higher level 
Um, they often also, they often, uh, this card often brings messages of news, of secret messages. Uh, so is there something in the cards here? Are they hiding something from you uh, that you do not know, which is holding them back over here, which is maybe you do know about the situation and this is why um, they haven't committed yet because this um, there is no resolution yet. Moving on to a card number um, four, all the way up here, we have card number four, which is the eight of leaves. Uh, card number four, does this person have a fear of losing me? The answer here is uh, yes. This is a card of uh, great love. It's uh, getting in touch with nature, getting in touch with ourselves. It's a card of couples um, coming together, strengthening the relationship, um, getting some passion, getting some joy, trying to get more harmony into the relationship. Um, your partner, although you do have these difficulties over here, is with you because they do find comfort and joy in your company. And this is why they are still, uh, they're still there and they're still thinking about commitment because they do see you as a long-term partner. Moving over to card number five. Card number five here, we have the four of acorns. This is the, will this person want to see other people? Uh, so um, the question here is, will they want to see other people? No, they will not want to see other people. They might have temptations to see other people at uh, certain points, but they will not go to see other people. They are quite happy in their little nest with you. Uh, continuing, we're going to go over to, um, sorry, card number six. We were at there. So let's go over here. Card number six, we have uh, the Knave of Hearts. Card number six is other feelings about marriage for the future. Once again, we still have, this is a uh, following, we had the Knave of Leaves, we have the Knave of Hearts. We're dealing here with your partner who is not quite ready to settle down. Your partner is still wanting to travel, still wanting to move, still wanting to um, see things, do things, and they feel as though the commitment um, could make them uh, stop doing these things, stop uh, living these new experiences. Moving over to uh, card number seven over here. We have again the uh, two, well not again, I'm sorry, it's hearts. <laughs> uh, we have a lot of hearts here. This is the two of hearts. Uh, so card number seven is their views of living together. Uh, this card wants to warn you a little bit of uh, ambiguous offers uh, that could appear that might be false. Uh, sometimes perhaps your partner knowing that you want to um, be in a committed rela relationship, that you want to continue, that you have plans for the future. Perhaps, uh, as we said, they have some fears. Perhaps they might be telling you, oh yes, yes, we will, we will, but always putting it off, put it off, put it off. So be aware of that. Make sure um, that the they do have a deep commitment, a stable relationship, because this is what this card represents, and that they have lots of hope uh, for your love in your relationship. This card, very important, you and your partner, this is the card that says it's the power that is created when two come together. Okay, two forces are stronger. We're moving up to card number eight. Card number eight here, ooh la la, we have a justice. So the justice in eight position is how can I draw them closer to me? 
um, you can't really. Uh, you can do so with uh, being truthful to them. You can be fair with them. You're going to have to balance here. It's a cause and effect. So we're using all of our energy. We're using our intellect. We're using our emotional. We're using our power. Um, you cannot force people to do things. You have to be careful with what you say to try and keep things under a neutral ground. We're going to follow up here with the Four of Bells. Look how cute he is. He's peeking at him sleeping. The Four of Bells is, will this person ever commit to me? And um, I would have to say that you have to be careful um, because uh, you do not want to become um, too uh, clingy to your partner. You do not want to become too possessive of your partner. You have to learn how to balance things out, not to push them away. But this is a card of success. It is a card of inner strength. Um, so, you know, you're going into something that's very important, that's very valuable. So will your person ever, will this person ever commit to me? I don't have a yes for you. Um, I do have a tendency. The path is going towards the yes if there's not too much uh, possession, if there's not too much balancing, um, if you can neutralize uh, this situation and if you can answer uh, their fears over here, for sure it's a yes because your partner loves you and wants to be with you. We're going to follow up with the last and final card here, which is the Six of Acorns. Uh, so you are coming back from quite the battle. Um, what future do you have? Are you going to win this battle? This is all about victory. So power, pride, honor, um, action, progress. So my answer for you is progress. Go slowly, balance, one step at a time, and you should get what you want. So I thank you very much for listening. This is going to conclude Group B. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please uh, subscribe to my channel to show me your support. Uh, um, like, share my videos. Um, if you would like to have a personal reading, um, romancefultarot at gmail.com. Like I mentioned, I do have for the 10 first viewers um, a 10 a 20% discount on a full reading. Uh, so on that note, many, many, many blessings to all of you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being there, for um, um, getting my messages. Um, and so just thank you very much. I will see you soon with other information, other spreads. Have a great day.